Welcome back to Newbrook. Okay, so something a little bit different today. I'm just going to talk through a plan that I've had in my head for quite a while for the field right beside the house. So let's get a bird's eye view of this field. Let's jump up on the roof here just to explain and to be able to show exactly what I'm speaking about. So this field beside the house, I've already harvested some grass from it. It yielded four round bales, which is not exactly prolific. I can't imagine this field is going to be that useful for harvesting grain or, or straw or anything like that either. So I've come up with a slightly different plan for this field. I'm planning to plant an orchard, which I've already started on the left. I think down across the back, maybe I'll plant some potatoes. I think it'd be appropriate for this map. And across the front, maybe once I've got the money together, a greenhouse as well. So this video, I'll just double this up as almost as a tutorial. So you, you can see here I've planted three trees so far. You can plant apple, pear, citrus and peach. Now they're increasingly more expensive in that order, but they also pay out increasingly more in that order as well. So I took out a loan to buy a couple of these three trees because I didn't have a heck of a lot of money to uh, spend on it. Now, I'll go through the financials of these guys. So let's take, for instance, the peach tree, because I've got a peach tree here. One of these is peach. If you keep these trees watered, they'll pay out at 70 per hour. Now, if I present myself to the base of the tree, you'll see there in the info panel, we've got 0% water and 0% manure. So if we water the trees, they'll pay out at 70 per hour. That doubles to 140 per hour if they're also supplied with manure. Now, basic arithmetic tells me that's 3,360 3, per tree per day. That is a heck of a lot of money for not a lot of an investment. So let's get some manure in here just to demonstrate. It's going to present the loader to the base of the tree and you can see the manure fill level is, is rising up there. So, nice and easy. Okay, so let's pull back and get the water tank in there as well. I've got the water tank, of course, on my beloved 135. Oh, just look at it. Beautiful. Okay, so let's grab the tank. Let's knock some water in there as well. So you can see the water trigger will appear at the base of the tree. So, let's start unloading. The fill level didn't rise there. I think I may have picked up the wrong trigger. Let's just check the tree. Yep, 0%. Let's just pull forward a little bit further. And we've got the correct tree. Perfect. So, it's just that easy. You'll see a little info panel. It filled up, which is perfect. Also, you'll see the fruit just starting to appear on the tree as soon as you fed it. And that's pretty much it. Now, from my experience, I only have to feed them and top them up maybe once a day. And for 3,360 per day per tree, this is really a shrewd option. I would encourage anybody to try to do the same. So that's it. Quick video today. Hope you find it useful.